Hey folks, how's it going? Sam here at NA Studios. I want to show you something in Logic today that is kind of annoying because I love Logic. It's great. I'm sure a lot of you out there love Logic as well, but it has a little bit of a habit of making things a bit of a pain in the you know, sometimes there's like other doors where you can do stuff with MIDI really easily. I'm looking at you, Ableton, but I don't want to go there. And Logic kind of makes it awkward, but the features are there. So here I'm going to be looking at drums. I'm going to be looking at drum triggering, which, as you all know, I like. I'm going to be looking at creating a virtual drum instrument and then sending loads and loads of mic signals into that instrument. So typically that's quite the aforementioned pain in Logic but we can do it in a really simple way if we just know which buttons to press and where to click, which could be said for most things on a computer really, couldn't it? But let's take a look. So I've got some drums here. Take a listen to said drums. Um, I don't like them. I think they're a bit naff. Don't know, there's nothing like inherently wrong with them. I just think that the, the snare in particular is a bit and the kick is like equally really just a bit pants. Uh, so what I'm going to do is load up a virtual instrument, a drum instrument, and send multiple tracks into that drum instrument and have them all play all the lovely samples in that instrument. It's an easy way of doing it, and let's check it out. So I'm going to load up a new drum kit. So I'm going to use the Hertz drums here. I've recently got these. Um, I got sent them, in fact, just to check out, and I like them. I'm keeping them. They're fun. Um, if you like the sounds that you hear now, you can check out the affiliate link down, down below. I'll get a little kickback from that, but um, don't do it if you don't want to give me any money. I don't care. I make loads of money off ads anyway. But either way, advert aside, um, you can do this with any virtual instrument. It really, really doesn't matter which one you use. I'm using Hertz today. So I'm going to call this MIDI drums, because why not? I'm going to get rid of that. And then in typical Logic fashion, we're going to create some drum like MIDI from the audio track. So if you don't know how to do that, you're missing out. So just select a region, press Control and D, and that's going to bring up this replacement doubling thing. Uh, so this is just allowing you to create a MIDI note on every like audio spike, essentially. You can see the MIDI notes here. I can see I've got one for that spike, one for that spike, etc., etc. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to go and hit OK. It's on doubling. Doesn't really matter in this instance. Let's go on OK. We'll get rid of that again. And we're going to do the same thing for the snare. Select that. Press Control and D. Doesn't like it when I've got other tracks selected for some reason. I select that. Control D doesn't do it. But as soon as I select that channel and do it. It works. Logic. Uh, snare, that makes more or less no difference but whatsoever. Uh, then every little spike has got a MIDI note. That's cool. Let's go to OK. All right then. So what I've essentially done there is created some MIDI notes for audio. So I've gone audio to MIDI. And that's pretty simple. OK. The tricky bit comes when you want to send loads of MIDI channels into one MIDI instrument. It doesn't really like it. It doesn't really give you like, uh, here it is, Sam, click this button. It hides stuff and I don't like that, but let's unhide it for you. So if you go to window at the top here, there's a few little quirks in a Mac. Like if you hold option or alt as I call it, um, then it will sometimes bring up other stuff. So if you're in a window and then you press it, then especially in the window window, if you press it, it will bring other stuff up. But look at this, we've got open MIDI transform there. And if I press option, nothing comes up. But if I hold option and press window, we have open MIDI environment. Just see that again. Normally, it's not there. Even if I press option, it doesn't come up. But if I hold option and then click window, hey presto, it comes up. So we're going to go into the MIDI environment and yeah, strap in. The MIDI environment is like, it's kind of hidden now. And I feel like they're trying to hide it from us. I feel like they're saying this isn't a useful place to be, or this is like one of those things that if you know, you know, but it really isn't. It's a useful place to be if you're messing around with MIDI as we are here. So we're going to be in here for like one minute. So don't even worry about it. It's not as scary as it looks. Now I've just got to find my um, channels that I've just created. And the easiest way of doing this, another little logic quirk is if I try and rename this, so kick plus it's called at the moment. If I try and rename it, oh, it's just gone to acoustic kick C1. Well, that's weird. And then snare does the same thing, but it's kind of handy because it means that we can then find them really easily. Uh, so here we are, acoustic kick C1, acoustic snare D1. All we need to do, we've got our MIDI drums here. This is the kick, this is the snare. Go to this little jobby up here, this little sort of arrow. So I'm actually just going to move this synth out of the way because sometimes it can like 
connect things in a weird way. If something next to it, it won't necessarily like it. Annoying. Uh, so let's go kick C1. Let's take that to our MIDI drums there. And then we'll go for our acoustic snare and send that to MIDI drums as well. That's it. We're out of the environment now. We don't want to look in there anymore. So now my kick and snare are going to my MIDI drums. So let's open up the glorious Hertz drums and we'll load up some sort of instrument that's going to fit for this track. Let's go to modern, whatever. We can change this as well. We'd have to stay on exactly what it is. Let's hit a kick. Bit too modern. Snare. Hmm. Let's choose something else. So we've got snare. Kind of like that for this. Let's go to the right kick. That's going to work, I think. Let's load that in now. Okay. Let's solo our MIDI drums, and you're going to hear those MIDI notes that are from the kick and the snare are going to have gone into that. Marvellous. Okay, so we've now got two channels of MIDI drums going into a virtual instrument. You can do this for as many as you want. You can go to all the toms and create trigger tracks for that as well and shove them into the Hertz drums or whatever drums you want. I'm using Hertz here. Um, it's a really simple way of doing things, and it means... A few things. It means you don't have to have a million instances of like drum instruments open for every drum. You don't have to have one for kick, one for snare, one for rack tom, etc. You can just have just one and it all goes into it. Um, secondly, you don't have to really like mess around with too much MIDI stuff. As you saw, all I did is dragged two cables. You don't have to go into like MIDI channels or any of that kind of stuff. To be perfectly honest, I don't even know if that would do it. I don't even know if that would work because just forget about it so it's a really simple way you can really like amp up ramp up whatever the word is your drum recordings by using this drum replacement thing within logic but then not using their stock kind of drum sounds just putting them into an instrument that you like you can put into any instrument you can put them into like the logic own instrument if you really want to um but i think that's super useful and kind of a two for one there how to drum trigger and then how to send those triggers all as one into one virtual instrument you're welcome so i can actually just mute my snare and acoustic kick track because they're going into the midi drums so whenever that's playing or whenever that's kind of soloed or not muted it's going to come through there there we go. So I can get rid of those ones. They've got a sample on there at the moment. Don't need to worry about that. I'm going to turn up the MIDI drums and the drums you hear here, 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 the kick and snare are going to be from that Hertz drums pack. They slot in pretty nicely and it's just a simple way of doing things. So there you go. You can jump down to the affiliate link down below if you want a sweet, sweet discount on these drums. As I've said before, I never endorse anything that I don't genuinely think is good. I don't like just say this is amazing just because they're giving me some money. The amount of money that you get off affiliate links, like I don't know if you know, is like basically nothing. It's, it's not worth you like sacrificing your name just to get like a couple of quid so when i say that there's affiliate link down the bottom you should go and grab it it's completely up to you like don't do it if you don't want to do it i, I really don't care it's not going to make a massive difference it's just kind of building a bond between me and a few software companies and that's just something that i like to do uh so i like hertz drums they're cool check them out down the bottom or don't whatever i'll see you again soon take care